Hi Zoe, hi YouTube friends. Right, I've popped on today as I've been thinking about travel journal stroke planners. Now I spotted one in the range and um, it had the sections that I wanted and lots of spare paper that I was thinking I'd like something that not only you put like your itinerary in that you can make into a bit of a scrapbook as well so all in one type thing and I pretty much persuaded myself that I was going to buy that one it's £10 um, if anyone's interested at the range and it's the only one I've seen as well like travel journal in like the shops locally um, I know you can get them on Amazon, but obviously sometimes you can't look at the insides in Amazon. Um, so I thought, yeah, we'll get that one. But then last week I had a no spend week because I need to put some money aside for Venice. And when I was at home, I thought I could make one, um, save a few pennies. So I had this, um, recipe journal um, which had sections that I bought from a charity shop like I think over a year ago and it's one of those things that you think oh that's pretty I could do something with that in the art cupboard <laughs> never to return but it has returned so um, I thought well I'll make that myself so that is what I'm going to be showing you today because all last week that was what I was doing now, Zoe, I obviously know that you already know all this, um, but I'm just obviously recapping for YouTubers. Um, and this is obviously to show Zoe what I've done, because um, she's going to want to do one herself. Although I am buying her the one from the range, because it's a little bit more low maintenance for her busy life. Okay, so... Um, where should I start? So, yeah, okay. I've only put this here so you've got something to look look at instead of my mat. So I'm bringing it in. Dun, dun, dun. Now, oh, let's come out a little bit. Let's move you up. This one's a bit bigger, isn't it? Dun, dun, dun. Are we all in? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I well, just adjust this a bit so we can uh, see it. Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? Anyway, so. Um, if you want to make one of these yourself, then I find if you go to a charity shop, you can literally find tons and tons of recipe journals or gardening journals. So pick one of those up and um, adapt it like I have. Um, as I said, it's harder to find the travel journals, so make it yourself. So I started with the decoration. Um, let me just say, I went on YouTube because I wanted some inspiration and I was looking, I looked up travel journals, travel planners, um, DIYs, anything, and they wasn't giving me what I wanted. Um, there's a lot of bullet journal things where they've done a section because they're going on holiday and they've like, you know, done sort of like their itinerary and what to pack and that sort of stuff. But there wasn't anyone giving me any fun ideas. So that's another reason why I've come on as well, because um, I've got a few more sections than just the normal and um, it might work for you if you're going to make one yourself so um, I thought I'd share. So um, as you can see, um, decorated the front, the cowboy boots are from a lovely um, leaflet that Zoe sent me and I thought oh, I just have to use these cowboy boots because I'm going, if you haven't guessed, to Texas. So um, this is just a Victoria Thatcher printable. And then I've used quite a lot of stickers from my Mambi stickers that Zoe sent me and from um, some sticker books, American uh, craft sticker books that I got from Hobbycraft. Um, but if you haven't got a lot of money and you can't buy stickers, I find a big roll of these white stickers from the pound shop, or I expect you have them in Dollar Tree or the equivalent, um, are fantastic because you can just make your own stickers just draw on there what you want cut them out so you know if you can't afford the stickers improvise um, even like cutting out pictures from magazines and stick them on the stickers and then cut them out as well so just an idea there and I'll just show you the back quick so there we go so more cowboy boots. Now I was delighted to find out that this is actually a paper chase one. 
one pound really bargain eh and I got um, this pencil with the cactus on and this was a gift from Sally and Ellie when they went to Paper Chase in um, London so that just fits in there really nicely and I think just adds a little something anyway take it out so I can do the pages so as you can see an adventure with Zoe all right and I forgot to cover something up so bear with me when I get to that I'll use I use this when I get to it okay so my first section here I've just made a little um, tuck spot and I've um, got a bit cactus theme here and what I've done is I'm going to start from July this is going to be my countdown and I've made one for each month leading all the way up to March and um, I just used a bit of um, decorative um, well, it's sort of more cardstock than paper, but that was from the pound shop. You get the pretty papers, and they're sort of like a bit cardstocky. So just use those. Um, just printed a page of these. You can just find them on Pinterest, and then cut out whether it's 31, 30, or 28 days. Um, use little stickers, and then this little bit here is I'm going to do a running total of how much I've saved each month so I've just got that one in there and I'll start crossing them off when I get to July and my first page um, yes Zoe you may recognize blue bonnets so um, this is the Texan flower that Zoe would like to show me if they're out when I go um, and um, I've popped this picture here and this was in one of the uh, magazines that Zoe sent me as well um, so that I want to do um, a picture of Zoe and myself here um, hopefully with some blue bonnets but if not just a picture of Zoe and myself here will be fine because it's going to be as said a scrapbook and a travel journal planner type thing um, I was very lucky in my um, sticker kits that I got these little tabs and so I've just put a little tab here to cover the one that was already there um, with itinerary now just got to cover something on the next page right so on this page I've just done um, just a, a decorative page wonderlust and um, the unwavering desire to travel and explore the world and just put some pretty pictures um, that relate to the travel like I've got like cowboy boots um, the stars at night are big and bright for Texas cowboys um, you know flowers so on you can see and that's in New Orleans that bit there um, my next part you can only see the date but is my um, flight details and my booking number and stuff like that so you obviously don't need to see that but um, it's decorated nicely and you can see I'm going on the 19th of March 2019 so let's just turn that over uh, my next section I've done um, I've made a little pocket here and um, as you can see tickets and I found this little map and pinpointed where I'm going and where I'm coming from so I've got fly there they don't fly like that I know they sort of go up but um, <laughs> for argument's sake I'm going across um, <laughs> but yeah I thought I'd put my used tickets in there to keep them um, and then I've just popped this one out of um, one of the books that I had happiness is the journey and not the destination well actually it's going to be the destination as well because I'm really 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 looking forward to seeing Zoe so <laughs> just pop that in there um, I did find the paper is very very thin hold on let me just flip that back over <laughs> oh so rubbish right um yeah the paper is quite thin on this one but um, I still went with it and I've double double sided things so um, so that my pen doesn't go through um, and you may or may not have to do that with yours um, if you want to write in pen if you want to do the whole thing in pencil then you'll be safe but um, I wanted to use my pen so the next page so the next one is um, packing 
So um, I've got travel documents, so passport and a copy of it, visa, a copy of it. Um, I've put paid because I've already bought my visa, insurance, I've still got to buy that, and tickets I've already bought. Um, I've just um, used stickers and marked the outlines of this. I said it was a recipe journal, so um, these sections had like recipe, ingredients, method, that sort of thing. So all I've had to do is cover those over. Now I've covered them over with the tabs, but where I couldn't cover them over with the tabs, I have used just the white sticky labels and um, you can probably see it just sort of there there's a white sticky label over that bit um, and I thought that's fine I mean that works doesn't it so you can just go through and white sticky label it if you've got things to cover then funds I've got my purse airport money so you know a bit of money so I can get something to drink at the airport um, US dollars credit card which I will sort out near at the time and excuse me um, a money card like a travel money card so not, I'm not taking everything in cash and then technology I've got um, my US adapter phone and charger, Kindle and charger, camera and charger, extra memory cards and headphones travel gear, um, snacks of course um, luggage tags a money belt, I thought that would be a safer option that I can have a money belt um, when I've gone through security, sort of like put my money under my clothes because um, I am travelling by myself so I don't want to be worrying about my bags and then key and lock, magazines and books, journal and pen, fluffy socks because my feet always get cold on aeroplanes and then I've got a little travel bag that I put sort of um, things like panty liners, sanitary towels, painkillers, tissues, mints, um, a comb and my decaf tea bags because they don't have decaf on the aeroplane. And then I've got my luggage information. So I've just wrote down here the luggage I'm allowed. I'm allowed a handbag, a, carry, um, a cabin bag and a suitcase and just what their um, weights and sizes are. Then I've just covered the back of this one with this um, nice picture that I had. Um, the pictures and the papers I have actually taken out of. Um, I had this uh, travel diary in a Daphne's diary. Um, so And it came with some just sort of like pretty papers and things in. So I've used that. And it also in Hobbycraft I found this little book. It was, I think it was 50p. And it had... Um, sort of like all different questions like huh, ironic time to travel oh time travel Ugh, me and reading um things i'm looking forward to that sort of stuff so i've used some of the papers out of here to just um cover up some of the pages so that i my pen doesn't leak through and to make it pretty and whatnot and then i've got gifts for zoe and um so far i've got macaroons there is a lot more than that but i knew I was going to show this to Zoe, like I'm doing now, so I didn't want to spoil all her gifts I have under the bed at this present moment. So, so far, she has requested macaroons. I have not bought the macaroons yet, because obviously they'd be manky by the time <laughs> I'm actually going. So, um, but they are on there to get. And then I've got clothing. So, underwear, bras, socks, pyjamas, swimsuit, tops, trousers, leggings, short, cardigans, jumpers, jacket, dress and shoes. Just run through that quick, you don't really need to, <laughs> if you were packing yourself um, or if you're using this for inspiration, I think you could work out your clothing. Um, then I've got jewellery, makeup, sunglasses and handbag and toiletries, shampoo, conditioner. Um, shower gel, razors, a washcloth, toothbrush, toothpaste. I'm going to buy a disposable electric one because um, I don't want all the voltage problems with taking my electric toothbrush. I'll just get an electric disposable one. Um, then my dental brushes, brush comb, hairbands, body lotion, suntan cream, perfume, deodorant, panty liner, sanitary towels. Oh, the excitement. <laughs> and um, as you can see, if you're looking at decorations, I've just put little stickers to indicate things on it. Um, I've had great fun doing this, um, decorating all the things. And then this last page on this section is my holiday money, which I will work out 
um, what things I've got to go to and how much I've got to spend on each thing. And then at the back, I mean, this is a, this is such a lovely recipe book. It has on each section two little plastic wallets, which I think is fabulous. So in this first one, I've just put all my other little um, tick off cards. As you can see, I've done one for each month. So they're all in there ready to be put in the front when we get to the applicable month. Spare little pocket there. And then I've got the next section. So this is my to-do section and oh the places we will go and I've just decorated it with um, pictures that I've liked and on the back here um, I've got space to put other things but I've just got like a little notes bit and a little to-do bit just in case because um, a lot of this will be done while I'm there um, although I have filled out some stuff now obviously and as I think of more things there'll be filled out so it is a work in progress and then I've got but from my bucket list because I have a bucket list um, I put things that I might be able to achieve while I'm there so I've just knotted down New Orleans because we're doing a road trip there catch fireflies possibly Zoe's going to research that for me aren't you hun um, meet Zoe obviously um, do something epic for my 40th birthday well the whole trip is epic so I can obviously tick these off when we get to them swim under the stars we're going to try and do that um, go on a road trip we're obviously going to do that uh, possibly could go to a drive-in movie take Starbucks photos uh, that is because um, every place abroad that I get a Starbucks I take a picture and I do um, a little actually show you Zoe I'm showing you <laughs> oh dear safe doing a separate one wasn't it I've I got this little coffee book and Zoe recognized the uh this this was um some uh napkin she sent me and I've modge podged on so now they're hard and then what I do is as I said every time I have a Starbucks coffee um somewhere exotic not just England or somewhere else um I put them in here so it's still got a bit of decorating to do and as I said a bit more work in progress here oh I've got some coffee washi tape now I could use in here Ooh. <laughs> anyway that was um in Central Park so yes and it snowed uh this was at the Bristol Christmas markets with my mum so very special to me because I don't really get to see my mum very often on the other side are just coffee type pictures so I'm just sticking to the photos at the moment um, and then this one was in um, Prague and little little tag that Zoe made me there that I've popped in uh, this one is a cheating one <laughs> it's actually in Western Supermare in a, co in a Costa but um, it's got my mum so for, <laughs> for argument's sake we're having a Starbucks <laughs> Um, and then this one it was at the Euro Tunnel on the French side and this one was in and I can't remember I will write it down it's somewhere in Germany and what we got and then the last one is in California um, so that's the last one I got and then I've got plenty more pages to do and it, as I said it's a bit of a working thing so um, I've got that there so that's what I mean by the photo. And then have a Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> I know, it's going to be March, but that's how cool Zoe is. I wanted a Thanksgiving dinner in America, and she's given me a Thanksgiving dinner in America, and I'm going to help make it. And what am I bringing to it? Roast potatoes. Because <laughs> you don't have roast potatoes. You can't have a special dinner without roast potatoes I'm sorry it's the law of England <laughs> so um, she's going to be doing all like the sweet potato pie and um, green bean salad and turkey and all the trimmings and I'm going to be making roast potatoes so I'm so looking forward to it because it doesn't matter if it's not at Thanksgiving because I'm not actually celebrating Thanksgiving because I'm not American so um, I just want the dinner and it to be in America so it's more authentic anyway and see that house which you're going to just have a have to have a look at a picture when I get back because there's this house that I have in my mind's eye that I really want to see and I know there's some in New Orleans so 
I will pop that down. Right, my next uh, section. So this is the to-dos. So, so far I have Hamilton Pool, a rodeo, riverboat trip, see the blue bonnets and see the Alamo. See, plenty of research still to do and filling out. And then I've got fun with Zoe, Thanksgiving dinner, movie night, watch Scooby Natural, which is the Scooby-Doo Supernatural one, um, which he's going to find for me. And then swim under the stars and take Starbucks photos. Um, oh, sneeze. Achoo. Oh, excuse me. And I've just uh, put this one here. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Because I found it funny. <laughs> and uh, to eat, Mexican food, salt lip barbecue, uh, tamales. I know I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> um, Cinnabon, fried green tomatoes, round rock donuts and Zoe's banana pancakes and then I've got a photo because one of the foodie things I want to pop in here and then places to visit these are places to shop not sites of interest so I've got Michael's Hobby Lobby Dollar Tree or equivalent thrift shops cowboy boot shop Tuesday morning and some sweet shops plenty more to fill in here and then I've I've left a bit for a photo here of like going to one of the shops or something like that. And I found these little ones on um, Victoria Thatcher. And then I found this little card that says a dream day together. And I've put a shopping day with Zoe, grab a Starbucks latte, then shop at all the US shops I've been dreaming about. And I can put that with it. And then to buy, so far I've got Jello, Taffy, sticker books, cowboy boots, with a big question mark because I know they're expensive and beef jerky for my husband because I was writing it out and he came up behind me and was like where's my beef jerky <laughs> so I had to pop that down and then I've got gift list uh, for the people I've got uh, well I don't got to bring back it'd be nice to bring back and then there's little pockets and then this is the road trip section so decorated and put journey on that bit uh, i've put this bit in here because i want to put a picture so a nice photograph and then uh, this would be my to do's on the way to new orleans so still got to research but i know that we're going to stop at lafayette on the way so i put that halfway down and then the songs list um so i've put now 97 I put Best Day of My Life by the American Authors um, and then this one's Five Seconds of Summer um, She Looks So Perfect because I like both of those songs and uh, The Greatest Showman soundtrack but plenty more because we've got a long long journey it's nine hours so uh, we're going to need some tunes and then snacks I put Trail Mix, Fruit, Water, Crisps and Red Vines or Twizzlers and then I've put, um, to do 20 questions, so um, I have a proper think about those and ask Zoe 20 questions um, that, you know, um, that we can talk about and she's going to work out 20 for me. And then I've printed off two little games in here that we can play on the way. I've got um, Would You Rather, but I'm not going to read them out because I want them to be surprised for the trip. And I've got a road trip scavenger hunt. I'll pop those in there and any more gamey things that I can think of or, you know, that we can do, I'll pop in. And then I've just got a little Texas map, which I have cut down to um, a, a better size. So it just shows the part that we're going across. So we're going to be over in Austin and we're going to come all the way across here and come into Louisiana. So... I haven't got the Louisiana part, but I have got the Texas part. Is that right, Louisiana? Am I making that up? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, got that bit. And then New Orleans. I've decorated that part there. I'm sorry if I'm speeding up a little bit. It's just, you know, I've got to fit in the half an hour, otherwise it dies. Um, and I've got a photo section. And another bit here, I thought this looked very New Orleans-y, so um, this might be something to do with New Orleans, or it might be um, when we have a night in Lafayette, I might put the details of it. And then I've got packing for 
go into New Orleans. So just the clothes, toiletries and other. And then this bit here is for the hotel in New Orleans. Um, so just the hotel information, name, address and telephone number. And then I've just left a little notes box here that I can write some notes on it. And then uh, things to um, go see and do. We want to go to the Café du Monde or, um, I can't say that word, read that word, um, one of those two cafes to go and get our, yeah, I want to say bayonet, but that's a gun. <laughs> but yeah, we want to get those because that's on um, Zoe's to-do list and I want to try them, of course. I want to visit a voodoo shop, visit a plantation. Um, Oak Alley one looks good. Um, go on a steamboat on the Mississippi River and see that house maybe from my list. And I've got notes and information. So far I've got um, all day streetcar is $3. So that's a good bit of information. Um, and then food I would like to try. Po' boy, crawfish, those and fried green tomatoes. And then my top three. You see everything's beautifully decorated. This is what has taken like a week to do. <laughs> then to buy a foot sink from the voodoo shop and bourbon for Jared. <laughs> bourbon. It always sounds like I'm saying bourbon, like in biscuit. Bourbon biscuits, not bourbon. Mm. <laughs> buy him a packet of bourbons. Um, no. <laughs> And then um, 10 things to do with Zoe, um, dance to jazz with Zoe, have a cocktail with Zoe, which will be a virgin one, um, fried green tomatoes with Zoe, because Zoe hasn't tried them either, and have a fancy meal out with Zoe. And then there's another picture bit. So as you can see, it's going to be like a scrapbook as well. And then I've got a New Orleans visitors map, and then just a couple of um, leaflets. Got the French Court, a hop on and off city tour bus and um, garden district walking tour which I think Zoe wants to do something along those lines and then I've got a note section now I have done I haven't decorated that one yet um, I thought I'd leave that maybe till I got there so I've got something to do when I'm there um, I've got best days ever so I can make notes of that but then what I've done is I've sectioned uh, this all up into how many days I will be um, in um, away for and then I can just like I do when I do my journal at the end of every night I just make a little note of what happened that day so I might go oh I went to Starbucks we had um, lunch at blah 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 um, I bought I don't know a new journal so, so, so. so I just make little notes so that when I come to do like say a scrapbook page or um, a journal page or whatever I can actually remember what happened that day so this is where I've just sectioned them all up for the whole time I'm away and I've just decorated and then there's a couple of pockets there which would be very handy for all, like the little bits of fodder I want to keep and then the last section is the memory section and I haven't been everywhere but it's on my list and then this was really handy because it was just a load of notes pages but full pages so I've just left them like this because this is going to be sort of like the keeping fodder tickets scrapbook type photo section and um, and then after that it's just two more pockets and there is one like zippy pocket at the back which is very very handy so I thought this is a very very good book um, so I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's given you some ideas maybe a little bit more ideas than just normal itinerary and packing um, <laughs> and um, I'm sure Zoe's got lots and lots of questions for me now um, <laughs> hi Zoe um, so if you've liked this please like feel free to subscribe and comment and um, please if you've got any questions ask away um, I love your comments and everyone have a wonderful day take care bye